guys, but guess what? Mimi leo hata sina gas. Niliishiwa. So please, Nico na supplier chai. We are celebrating the life of one of the um, oldest people who've ever served our government and that is Sir. Yes, he's called Sir. Sir Charles Njonjo celebrates a hundred years, guys. A hundred years. And I don't know if you guys know about uh, things about him, but the one fascinating thing for me about Charles Njonjo is how, well, two things. How he married late in life, even with all the power and influence mm -hmm. at 52, and also his suits. He always has pinstripe suits and mm -hmm. there are signatures in between the pinstripes. Eh? Yes. Yeah. All his life. Like, wale tunamjua kutoka tuzaliwe, mm. he's always in a pinstripe suit mm. with a sig with signatures. Uko. Hey, nice. nice. But yeah. you can't see them with your naked eye. No, you can't. Eh, when you're going to leave your screen, do not enter in your screen. It cannot be seen unless yeah. ni, ni kwa, ni tuwaze. Iyo tu. Ile, ile. Ikifanywa wa sinema. Wezi kuiba. Ama karibu na ye. Ukiiba unetaketa. Amen. Amen. Isn't that thankful? It is. Mia. Hundred. One, two, three. One, zero, zero. Sisi tuko. Tuko sisi do ya karate. Na unafi like, oh my God, I'm so old. And you know, he went all the way. Like, he did his birthday in a very big way. Yes, he did. Then that's just to be grateful to God for God. Kukufikisha, no, but I mean, if you at least 70, you know, it's said 70 is a bonus. Ukishafika yeah. 70, after that, ni bonus. Ya yeah, mepata mm. bonus ya 30. 30 years, and he's still 30 years, strong. Yeah, but he's still strong. He's still strong. Yake. I'm yet to. Like, like, uh, no, uh, 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 kuna ukombali. Lakini, ni sawa tu kush. Life iku, ina kungojea hapa inje. Lakini, yeah. una jua. Una kwa Lakini, umekula life, life nika umechapa 100 years. <laughs> But sasa unajua hapa ndio unasema nga inabidi tuangalie diet. Yes. Yeah. Unaweza vile kwa sema chakula sungura. Hiyo mm. chakula sungura itafanya una kama yaka sasa. He vega. says he looks after himself like yeah. oh, oh, let me just quote it. I look after myself I swim daily. What? I used to do 12 laps now I only do 7. I also have a bicycle which I ride for 10 minutes daily. Wow. I also hit the treadmill treadmill for about 10 minutes daily. I am also careful about what I eat. I don't <coughs> eat nyama choma. I eat a lot of veggies, wow. he revealed. And some of the things that people have talked about, and it was on a, one mm -hmm. of our popular radio stations, mm -hmm. Nick Kosabu, I'm actually even longer because he married late in life. Mm. So he married at 52. Oh. Where, it's, it's a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, at 52, Unajo, you're looking Ooh. for a life partner. Yes. It's not about money. It's not about to pass time. Mm. It's not about that. Mm. I am looking for someone to grow old Akuna with. Kumbahatisha. Mm -hmm. But wow. kulikuwa na mtu, ama? Marriage. Before the marriage. Kama so, kuna uh, mtu hawa yeah. official. Yeah. official. Sindi yo? Yeah. Official. At 52. Yeah. 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 70 and you know some prime time we pay bonus no mtoi wako ana 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 pata kitambulisho I, I know a very personal friend Ooh. who got married to an an older guy not really old but an older guy and man she's happy Mm -hmm. she's at that point there's she's no happy. Like, he's done everything the man has done every single thing Ameacha. that he can ever do so the only thing i going to focus on mm. ni marriage nataka tu mtu atakuja kwa partner wangu okay huyo 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 ni day mwenye mbele na mtu yes huyo ndio mwana mbele ngapi yes dem alikuwa old the guy was 55 uh, yes na dem dem was she's turning 40 ah sasa ah, ah, huko it huyo si yeye no she got married when she was 32 na chali alikuwa ngapi 55. Oh. That is Yes. We got to saw. Oh. Point ni. We kali. Kama unatafuta mtu. But for the for a man, eh, for a man 52, 52, 52 <laughs> is the one. Na tafutia weeks. Nikiangalia hapa kuna vitu uh, uh, <laughs> no insecurities at that age, yeah. no pressure to impress other people in relationship, uh -huh. no pretending and you will only marry for love. 
Yeah, because I know. I want to have energy. I want to have to work. I want to have to work. As in, Nile, companion. Yes, I want to have a companion. Okay, I think Stanza will think of a story yet. Yeah, husband. Stanza will think of a story. 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 This girl, she was um, the winner of TPF, the last TPF that, oh no, second last TPF that happened. She's currently, she, she dated so many people and finally found love. Ruth Matete will be ordained on Sunday with the husband, beloved John Ab. Pewa Joe, eh, these Nigerian names, man. Hey. Ruth Matete was just got married the other day, and man, who kiona post and a posting is crazy. You're like, oh my <coughs> god, so sweet. You finally found love. She went on Instagram and, and invited her fans and her friends for the uh, ordination, <coughs> which will be happening on Sunday. She said, uh, Calvary, greetings to you. Hope this finds you well. It is with great humility to God. Almighty, that we wish to welcome you to our ordination ceremony this Sunday from the uh, from three p twenty six from three p.m. to six p.m. The venue is the Christ Nation Church Mountain <coughs> Rooftop along along Thika Road. We will be honored to have you attend. Kind regards, Minister Ruth Matete Ape Ape Wajoe. I'm so so happy wow. for Ruth Matete. Man, you know she she was my oh, that she was your that lady. She was our church um, before she moved uh -huh. churches. She used to be in House of Grace where I worship, and she was our head praise and worship. Man, uh, I used to love her. Uh, that lady like, has been that through chick a lot. She has been bashed online mm. to depression, depression to yeah. like she's to, gone through uh, a lot. Being breaks. denied online, someone just denies you life Imagine. online. Like, yeah. Who dating? Who for who for why? As in, I think, and I think finally. Anyway, love wins. Some, love man. conquers all. It does. Hey, this so she'll be a pastor from Sunday to what we call Pastor Ruth. Wow. Matete ape wajowe na pastor Manzo, John. Uh, boy child, Kenyan boy child. Mm -hmm. This Nigeria man goes to your women. I know, man. First, Emikos Gay, Alienda, Nani Mungine, Ruth, like, eh, at the gospel Who's people. Amani. I'm saying the Amani. Amani. Imagine. Yeah. Ah, by the way. Kush, are you next? Kush, Tracy. Abi. <laughs> <laughs> I love your spirituality, darling. I wish her all Have the love, love, love and the blessings yeah. upon it's as true. they plan maybe their endeavors in 2020. Yeah. Yani, yeah. give up. Don't give up no, on the Mungu to the right person at the right time. See now, they are doing the same thing, the things they love to do. And yeah, I told you frogs are very real. Mm. Anyway. To uh Terem Kapatini Kidogo um two five five Tanzania. So um recently Mboso was actually still he's still mourning the loss of his um baby mama by the name Mother. She passed away last year sometime uh, around September. And you know he went online and posted um aka post to Kitu na Kidogo watu wakakujua kwenye comment section na mojual kwanga demo na mele andika usijali utapata tu dem dogu angu, maisha nataka subra. Mboso sijui kama akuanga me like yo comment ama ni yaka ndika kuna muda unakuaga kama mlevi mambo yako. <laughs> so apo mleza jijazia. Anyway, um, apparently the chick was, uh, she just complained of um, like just a minor headache. And then by the time like she was like your story, a hosi and everything. Kumbe she had, I don't know, a problem with her spine or something. And she, psh, that's oh how she God. left, you know, from a minor headache. Although I had a friend, ati alise maibo, mm. no mwana kichwa. Then that was it. That was it. Maybe. Yeah. You know, many engages now. I take more jungle. So I'm to kitchen. The next thing, my greatest fear, actually, for me, is the one time I just wake up and maybe I'm alone. God forbid. Mm. So I'm imagining here, here, I'm solo. It's just a nani was asa. Boso. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's still hurting mm. yeah, because it's, it's been some time, but it keeps coming back again. And after them, one could say, Mati, Utapata, them. There's somebody else Mboso dated after the, the baby mom. I think she's still dating the lady. So, <laughs> Diamond and Akuja Kuchokoza, Kuchokoza relationship, the art is yeah. backfire, come on, Zaki. I know. But I yeah, it's so sad. At Abraham. least, I, I respect him also. At least, any baby daddy. Ambe anaiza fikiria. Mwengine ya ni situ naiza kufa ata watu wa sijui. Watu wa wanaendele atu na life. But anyway. Ni wacha ni wapeleke Zimbabwe. Hii mambo ya wa madaktari kustrike. Hapa Kenya. 
by there we, we can learn something from this guy. So in Zimbabwe, the doctor striked and they went for four months. No service, Zimbabwe hospital, public hospital, private hospital, no service. So here came this uh, CEO of uh, Econet Bank. I think you know it's a very uh, big company. Strive Masiyiwa, Uyo Hapo. Mze, we are and on a fiction pack 100 years. So, the strike over pay and poor conditions lasted over four months, like I said, paralyzing the country's healthcare sector. So, this telecoms billionaire he took an offer, Kasema, let's go back to work, doctors, people are dying. People, all these things, you know, people are complaining salary is not enough. The doctors are being underpaid, yet they are saving lives. So he declared he's going to give 100 Zimbabwean dollars. In US dollars, that is $6 million. In Kenya shilling, $600 million. Sawa, tuko pamoja. So this man is going to pay 2,000 doctors for a period of uh, about six months. I think it was about $3,000 or something like that each. So that these guys can go back to work. And uh, even after pledging this offer, the Zimbabwean Hospital Association had to still accept the offer before he can actually give the money what? out. So, all the tycoons out there in our country. Walimu on a strike, madaktari, all these mm. things. Yeah, so Zimbabwe, that's how they did it. Msia Kasema too, if I have the money, let me invest it back to my country, wow. to my people. How, how, how yeah. amazing is patriot that, though? Is the word. Patriot, patriot is the word. Mm. Are you a patriot? <laughs> <laughs> and this guy has the same humble beginnings. Wow. Kitambo. I think he was saying mm. why he did that is because some time back he went through a period where he was sick and there was no health care. Like, you have to put a deposit. And they almost his mother almost died out of that situation. Mm. So because of that, he has a passion of seeing somebody else unaenda hosi, upati service because you don't have money or anything like that. Or the doctor is not available. So, daktari wa Kenya tafadhalini, tufani kazi. Wa Kenya tuige. Twige, we can copy so much. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Well, Zimbabwe. 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 100 million dollars. Are you crazy? Dep but you can, depending on what has happened to you. Kama yeye unaona akona experience. Na akapata pesa. Mm -hmm. So, why not? Ayezisha. <laughs> Kush. <laughs> Kush ji kama Mungu atakubless kukuwa tycoon kama hii ndio attitude. Hata million moja. Utakufa. Anyway, talking about honors and being celebrated, Lupita Nyong'o has been celebrated by being given an award, the, uh, the Montecito Award in the American Film Festival. And this happened on the 22nd of January. And sh this was um, happening in California. It's called the Santa Barbara Film Festival in Santa Barbara, California. And it's a huge deal for her to get this. She went on to say what a lovely evening at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. Thank you, uh, Jordan Pell, for the heartwarming tribute to Dave Krager for the titillating and sometimes goofy conversations and to the uh, whole Film Festival for honoring me with the Montecito Award. Now, th this comes after she's been nominated four times at the NC NACCP Image Awards, which was really, really huge. And all she did was like four Really, really mm. for, <laughs> but yeah, last year and the beginning of this year, Imeanza Lupita on Kwa Kwa Maisha Lupita started on a very, very high note, and we wish her all the best. Yes. Yeah. Mm. She's Even your great. next now, nakikuja tena kisiri tuki undercover. Ah, uh, that's exactly what she does. She's mm. constant. Like she, she comes here a lot. Yeah. But she, she's. Whew. I hear. I hear. I hear. <coughs> so I hear. Yeah. 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 She says when I was in Kenya. When I used to be at the theaters, mm -hmm. no one bothered. So <laughs> now, it's easy, Mimi ni nani, you want, she's never done, she's only done one interview in Kenya. Mm -hmm. One, one, only one. Anywho, <coughs> we still celebrate her, she's ours. Yeah. And yeah, big up for the 2020 Imanza Vizuri, Ukiendanga, hey. Ukiendanga. Hard work, patience. After your drama ya kukosa, ilikuwa ni Oscar, ma ilikuwa ni at least congratulations. At least congratulations. She's being celebrated. And it's like As a black woman, you feel like you need to be given just because. You have to have work in other places as well. Okay, guys. Moving on to live sports.